In the 18th century, it was all the rage to study electricity. Everyone was doing it. And the thing they were storing their electricity in was known as a Leiden jar. Now, we don't need to go into the details of how this jar worked just yet, but the key thing to know is that through a process which involved friction, this jar could become charged. And for now, let's say that charged means the jar possesses electricity in some way. Well, once it was charged, the electrodes of this jar could be connected to wires. And by attaching these wires to various objects, you could see things like sparks, or you could even start a fire. Now remember, Benjamin Franklin's idea was that lightning is somehow the same thing as the electricity that scientists have been playing around with in these Leiden jars. So my question is, which of the following options would be the most convincing demonstration to show that lightning is actually the same thing as the electricity in these Leiden jars? Would we want to show that lightning, like a Leiden jar, can actually somehow cause a fire? Would we want to show that we can use lightning directly to charge a Leyden jar? Would we want to use lightning to destroy a Leyden jar? Or would we want to see if lightning somehow increases friction? The thinking being that Leyden jars were somehow charged by a process that involved friction. Which of these four options should Benjamin Franklin do if he wants to convincingly prove that lightning is electricity?